What's up, Fight Fans? I am Adam Chris, and I am being joined by the man, the legend himself. He doesn't need an introduction, but we got to give it to him anyway. The former light heavyweight champion of the world, Glover Teixeira. Glover, it is an absolute honor to have you here at RFL2, just our second event here at Rawway, New Jersey. i got to ask you first and foremost, what brings you to regional MMA here on a Sunday night in New Jersey? Oh, man, I talked to Ozzy a few, a few months ago in Las Vegas, and uh, I was excited, you know, the way he talked to you about the event, and the way he, 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 the way he wanted to make the event, and I'm like, I want to put one of my guys there, a few of my guys if it's possible, but I have one guy fighting tonight, and uh, I'm just excited, man, to see who this tune out for the amateurs, for the next generation of the, the actors to be, and uh, I'm so glad to be here. And um, Ozzy give the opportunity for those kids to, to make it to the next level, you know? Absolutely. Ozzy's doing a fantastic job treating the amateurs just like the professionals and giving them the time to shine because it starts right here in the amateur circuit and they have to make it here before they get up to the, sec to the next level of the UFCs, of the different organizations. So it starts right here and you have your guy Jovell competing tonight. Can you tell the fans a little bit about your guy competing tonight, Jovell? Oh, you know, Melvin, you know, he's a, he's a great, uh, uh, great kid uh, with a dream. You know, he come to the gym. Uh, it's funny, he come to the gym to train with me, and, uh, but he, his, his big idol was Alex Pereira. A few months later, I, I uh, called Alex Pereira to come train in my gym, and he realized his dream, he's trained with his idol, and uh, he's excited to start this, man. He's excited to, to, to start his journey, his debut today, and, you know, keep going on. Absolutely. Hey, Glover, I got to ask you. So on his debut, coming from, you know, a legendary coach now as yourself, what are some of the things that you look for in an amateur promotion in order to send your fighters out and take the risk of fighting? You know, there's uh, uh, the level, you know, the level, the way the, way the, the, the commission is doing the thing about the weightings, because a lot of the, the, the amateur shows, you know, uh, the, the, the weight difference is, uh, is, is a big problem. Or the level, of too, a lot of people put like a high level guys against like a, the beginner. Melvin started with us like I think uh, six, eight months ago. And uh, he's starting an MMA process, and uh, he wanted to fight, and I keep holding him to, to get him more experience. But uh, like I say, it's eight-month experience. The kid is going. The kid is very athletic. And um, what I look for is like uh, what I uh, is this is when when you match the same level kind of thing. You know, don't put a, like a black belt with a heel hooks. It's not heel hooks allowed here anyway. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I just. Um, you know, I talked to Ozzy, man. The, I know Ozzy for a while, and uh, he's a fighter as well. And the mentality that he have, I, I was so excited. I say, I got to be on that show. I got to put my kids on that show. And it would be an honor for me to, to be there and put uh, the guys in there. We didn't have more guys today because we, we got a lot of guys fight last, last month. But uh, eventually, we're going to have a lot more guys here. Oh, well, we're looking forward to seeing you guys out yeah. here. And I think I speak for everybody when I say it is an absolute honor to have you here at RFL right here at Rahway, New Jersey. Make sure you keep it locked for the future fight cards here right here at RFL 2.